Hi and thank you for choosing Card Studio 2.0. This video shows you how to structure a MyFair Desfire encoding file. The MyFair Desfire EV1 smart card can hold up to 28 different applications and 32 files per application. Desfire cards are mostly used for advanced public transportation, access management, loyalty, micropayment and identity. In this example, we create an encoding file for a Desfire card used by employees of a larger organization that need to use the smart card for access control and to pay for their lunch in the canteen. The card needs to communicate with three applications in this situation. So, let's get started and open the smart card editor. Open a new file and select Desfire. An empty Desfire template is created, ready for us to configure. The card settings panel will allow us to define general rules for our encoding template. We will keep the card serial number byte order on most significant byte first. A Desfire card features a card master key that can be used to re-encode or erase the card at any time. All keys for Desfire cards can be encoded using 3DES, 3K3DES or AES encrypted keys. A key can be either generated or entered manually. Generate the key with the AES encryption. In general, AES is viewed as the most secure level of encryption. Keep the no key diversification as is. Check the box to be able to change the master key later, require authentication for creating or deleting applications, and to change the configuration of the card later. We will keep the rest unchecked. In addition to the default Desfire features, reset keys are implemented that allow for cards to be repurposed by users, even though the card master key might not be available. Distributing the card master key might not be desirable because of possible security liabilities. Multiple reset keys can be created to supply to different vendors. We will not be creating reset keys for this example. Once card settings have been defined, the required applications can be added. Click on the Add Application button to create an application for identification, access control and one for the payment system in the canteen. To remove an application, click on the Remove Application button. Give the first application the description identification. Keep the application number and encryption setting as is. Check the box so the master key of the application can be changed, authentication is required for creating or deleting files, and key settings can be changed for this application with the master key. We will not enable ISO file ID support and select only update file contents if this application already exists. Settings need to be decided with caution as they will impact how flexible the card can be used after being encoded and at the same time is secure enough. Each application can have up to 10 keys that can be distributed to vendors for use of that specific application. Generate the master key, an extra key that allows to read the file and one to write the file. Now add a file with the description Personal Information. Keep the file number as is. The communication mode for files can be plain if the data does not contain sensitive information, but it is safer to encrypt the data that is exchanged with the applications. For general purposes, select the standard data file. Each file has individual settings for read, write and read-write access, as well as an access rule for changing these settings after encoding the card. Set read access to authenticate with key 1, write and read-write access to authenticate with key 2, and for changing access setting, authenticate with the master key. Standard file types require you to set the total file size. Keep in mind that this must be equal to or greater than the total amount of bytes that are used for your file data. In this example, the total amount of data used is 54 bytes, but the file is given 64 bytes instead. File data is added to the file in a similar fashion to defining a MyFair Classic template. Select Dynamic Data as Data Type from the drop-down box and keep the data format and alignment as is. Name the field ID number as this will be the identifier once the CCI file is linked to your Print Studio project. Set the length to 6, enter a description and finally set the encoding setting to UTF-8. Next, add dynamic fields in this file for first name Last name, and date of birth.
The second application with the description Access Control is set up with the same settings as the first application and needs one file for the dynamic field ID number, department and the dynamic field function. This information is needed for the access profile. Some employees can have access to a specific building or room based on their department and function. Be aware that every organization and access control system has different requirements and need a different setup. This information is needed for the access profile. Some employees can have access to a specific building or room based on their department and function. Be aware that every organization and access control system has different requirements and need a different setup. The last application is created for the payment system. Most of the payment system providers request to set up their own application for the encoding file as they do not want to share their file setup and keep it secure. In this video, we will create an application ready to be distributed to the provider of the payment system so they can set up the application for their payment system. Give the application the description Payments. Add four keys for the files in the payment application. The first is the master key, the second a read key, third a write key, and the fourth a read-write key. We will use the same application settings as before, only this time the key settings can be changed with key 4. Key 2, 3 and 4 can be shared with the payment provider, so they can change the keys and set up their needed file structure for this application. Once completed, the template can either be saved to a human-readable XML format or a password-encrypted CCI format. Both can be used to encode cards in your Print Studio project.